At Grand River Hospital, we are using the Med Reconciliation Program to determine uh, patients' medications when they come into the hospital, and it would be anything that they're on, um, over-the-counter drugs, creams, to get a full history of all the medications that they're on. Two puffs and the lactulose for his bowels, and that's just as a PRN. If he hasn't had a bowel movement, how long do you wait before um, he has that? Let's see about every second day. Okay. One of the things we've done in implementing this is also involve families. They are the start of that best possible medication history. And so, you know, families really participate in it and then it's asking the questions and asking the questions again, have we forgotten something? Because children, it's a vulnerable population that we see. They can't always speak for themselves. And it's so important for us to get that information. You see, we're listening to your friendly bear here, okay? We're making sure he's okay. I think he's okay. Now we're gonna to listen to you, okay? We're just gonna to listen to the back here. Can you take a big breath in? Having done this for about 23 years now with uh, children and their families and their health-related manners, I think there has been a, a shift and I think um, there is that cultural change that has transpired. Parents are coming in with more information, the internet, they're pushing the envelope and I think it's appropriate. I wonder if the antibiotic was coming, causing some tummy pain. Has that gone away? She did have some discomfort this morning, but... The current uh, culture and feeling and guidelines that we've been given by authorities is to be very open and transparent with parents about medical errors. If one happens, be honest about it, be transparent, be, uh, don't try and hide things. You look at the MAR, the Medication Administration Record, you see the discrepancies, then you talk to the nurse and she may not have an answer. Then you go talk to the parents. So it's a little bit of backtracking, it's a little bit of documentation, and, and it, it's time consuming. But I think when you come across that one, one potentially big error, it makes the 10,000 other little things you did worth it. In our pilot project over a period, you know, a six month period of time, we caught 38 discrepancies, and uh, most of them were minor, but they were there and it identified a need, and that's been a huge uh, difference in terms of how uh, we've dealt with things. We're doing it on a small level here, uh, you know, with the children's unit and the children. It needs to be a culture wide, you know, every floor, every, uh, you know, um, uh, emergency department, every hospital needs to be in this business, as well as physicians in their office. It needs to extend out and beyond that and into the pharmacies. So this is, I, I view this as part of a stepping stone, but we've still got a lot of stones to step up.